Does coffee raise inflammation? Coffee is one of the most popular drinks in the world and is often a go-to for many people when they need an energy boost. However, many don't think about the effects that caffeine can have on the body. In this video, we will look at the connection between coffee and inflammation. We will discuss what inflammation is, the connection between coffee and inflammation. What is inflammation? Inflammation is a bodily response that helps to heal injuries and protect the body from infection. It's important to keep inflammation in check, as it can have both positive and negative impacts on your health. Inflammation is a response by the body to damage or injury. The immune system becomes active and starts to fight off infection or repairing damage. However, if inflammation is left unchecked, it can lead to further damage and even health problems. Inflammation is a response by the body to damage or injury. The immune system becomes active and starts to fight off infection or repairing damage. However, if inflammation is left unchecked, it can lead to further damage and even health problems. Caffeine consumption can affect inflammation in several ways. For one, caffeine has been shown to increase blood flow, which means that it helps to bring injured cells back into circulation faster. Understanding Coffee's Effect on Inflammation Coffee is a popular drink worldwide for a reason, it has many health benefits. One of those benefits is its effect on inflammation. As we've discussed above, too much inflammation can lead to various health problems. However, coffee has been shown to reduce inflammation in different ways. There's a lot of mixed opinions on whether or not coffee is good for inflammation. Some people swear by the benefits of coffee while others believe that it has negative effects. However, the truth is that we don't know for sure just how coffee affects inflammation. These compounds work together to decrease inflammation and pain, while also improving overall health and well-being. Along with reducing inflammation, drinking coffee also has a number of other anti-inflammatory benefits such as improved cognitive function, better sleep quality, and reduced anxiety levels. Additionally, drinking coffee with meals can help to reduce overeating and weight gain, all of which are key factors in maintaining healthy body weight. So if you're looking for ways to reduce your inflammation levels without resorting to traditional medications or surgery, consider giving coffee a try. Just be sure to drink moderation, too much caffeine can have negative side effects on your health. Thanks for watching, subscribe now to watch more.